Hey, welcome back. My wife presented me with an interesting challenge a few months ago. She wanted to know if I was going to be able to punch or drill a hole into cardstock about this thick so that she could put a ring through it. And she was going to hand this, these packets out with reading strategies to teachers at our school. When she asked me to do that, I immediately thought of a Jimmy DeResta video where I saw him use hollow brass tubing where he sharpened the end of it and he used that to drill holes. So I thought, hey, this will be easy, no problem. My greatest challenge though was I had about 75 of these books to make. Here it is a few months later now and I just did another round of them. So I did over 150 of these booklets now and they are this thick cardstock about, we're talking about, uh, almost an inch thick, some three quarters to an inch thick of cardstock, these booklets. And it took me a while to really get a process down that works repeatedly. So let me show you what I came up with. So if you ever have to do something like this, it'll, it'll save you some time. So I didn't have any brass tubing, but the closest thing I had was a shell that I had from a 444 Marlin. And I ground off the edge of it, the rim of the shell, and that way I was able to put it in the chuck. And when I did that, and I tried to drill through the paper, I set up something like this at first. Just some scrap wood, and I made a 90 degree angle here, and the idea was that I could take my pieces, get them aligned, put them into that corner, push it tight, and then drill down in through the paper. So I tried that, and when I did that, it, the paper was so thick that it started to burn a hole into the paper and these ones, the ones down here near the, the bottom are actually burnt and it also started to make them swell out and push out on the bottom to the, the point where you can see this one's really burnt right here in the bottom. And so it kind of def deformed them all and put this kind of uh, dent pushing it out. Plus it filled up the hollow tube of course like it's supposed to and it didn't have much room in here and then have to take it off every few and, and try to push the, the holes back out. And it just was not gonna work. And the hole was too big, because I was trying to go for a smaller hole. I found when you try to drill into this with a, a regular drill bit, I'll show you what happens. I held them down tight. Let's just pretend these are all aligned. Held them down tight and started to drill through there. And what happens when you do that is, you get a pretty clean hole. But, again, it deforms the paper and it's, it rises up on the drill bit as you do that. The exit hole is, is okay, it's not too bad, as long as you have a backer board. So I was closer with the drill bit. But it was getting a lot of tear out, depending on the drill bit I chose. So that's what you're seeing here, me trying to, to do it repeatedly with different drill bits and finding that it was getting, it was really tearing out on me. So what I ended up using and was successful was, I put these in here like this, and then I had another piece on top. I drilled down through the top and the bottom, and that way I had no tear out on the top or the bottom. And th these, I forced down every time, pushed down as hard as I could with my hand pressure, and as I used the drill press, that kept them nice and flat, and they didn't get distorted. So I used a brad point bit for this, and that worked the best. So if you need to do any kind of booklets like that, this is the best way I found at home to punch a hole through a thick stack of that cardstock. It is tough on the bit, my bit's starting to dull a little bit, but after over 150, it did a pretty good job. I think I used a quarter inch bit for the hole, and then they fit these metal rings in there. So I'm gonna, let me show you in, in detail what that looked like next. Mm -hmm.